everyone welcome back to another video on my channel I'm actually kind of excited for today's video it's a really fun one I think it's gonna be a little bit challenging but I think it'll be fun so basically I'm just gonna be doing a sort of like festival inspired look I'm gonna try a few new things in this video I'm gonna try and do like a really hectic eye and I'm gonna match that to the hair I'm gonna be using to braid my hair um, to get those sort of like festival braids. So yeah, this is the final look. And stay tuned if you want to see how I did it. So let's just get right on into the video. I'm not going to put any gel or hairspray or be like super particular with the braid and make sure it's like perfect because I'm just going to be taking mine out. But, but if you are wearing it to a festival and planning on keeping it in for a few weeks, um, definitely use gel, hairspray, do it when it's wet so you can tuck all the flyaways and be really neat with how you're braiding it. But I'm just showing you how to do it. I've just tied one half back into like a little space bun thing so it's out of the way when I'm braiding one side. This is the hair. I'm going to be putting in it so it is nice and hot pink at the top and it just goes into like a baby pink at the bottom so that's what I'm going to be braiding in obviously I'm doing two braids so I'm going to split these sections in half so I have an even amount for each braid So after you separate all of the hair into the sections you want, you end up with these little sections that look like this. So this will be my starting extension. And then as I go through the Dutch braid, I will be grabbing more pieces of extensions like this and putting it into the braid. So just taking a section at the front, taking it into three parts. So with these two sections, these will be the sections that we add our hair extension to. So taking our middle strand of that braid, we're just tucking that under the added hair extension and putting that in our mouth. Taking the side closest to my ear, I'm pulling that under the other section and then adding the piece from my mouth to the side of my part and that gives me the three strands for the Dutch braid. Using that same section of hair, I then continue the braid by pulling that underneath. Now I'm picking up hair from the side of my ear and adding that to the strand and pulling all of this underneath. Adding my own hair to this side now and then once again pulling it underneath. With this strand that we're about to go under with, we're going to add our next extension to that strand. Finding the middle of the extension, adding that to this hair. So. And putting the other half just in our mouth to keep it out of the way and also taking some of our own hair to add to it as well. Now we're going to add this strand and our own hair. Now we just add our own hair. Now we're going to add another bit of extension. Okay, 
now I'm running out of hair in this middle section. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit from this part just so I can continue it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the end and also do the other side and then I'll be back. Okay, good morning guys. It is the morning after I did my braids. Um, I planned to do the makeup last night, but then as soon as I finished braiding my hair, I like desperately needed to lay it down. I felt so sick, I was about to black out. Like it was, it was so bad. Um, so anyway, I'm better this morning. So I'm gonna record it now. Um, but yeah, this is what the braids look like once they are in. I also did just spray them with hairspray and it sort of cleaned up all the wispies just at the front here. Obviously I wanted these to be thicker because I have naturally quite thin hair so I wanted the end of the braid to be thicker. But um, I think the way that I weaved it in, um, like I sort of just made it up myself. I sort of just did it as I went. I'll definitely like experiment with other ways to weave in the extensions for next time. Um, I also did cut the bottom so they're a bit neater like this. Um, so once you've finished your braiding, you just want to pull at the top of each braid to sort of make them a bit thicker. So I've finished sort of pancaking the uh, braid out. I'm just going to start moving on to eyes. And to do that eye look, I'm going to be using the James Charles by Morphe palette. And I think I'm going to be sticking to sort of this area here. The concealer I'm going to be using is just this new concealer I got from the Priceline 50% off sale and it is the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. This concealer will basically just act as an eyeshadow base and it will also help me cut the crease. I'm starting by just squeezing some of that concealer on my eyelids. This just gets rid of the discoloration in all of the veins on my eyes. Going into the James palette, I'm starting with this hot pink down here. I'm just going to be taking that shade and packing it into my crease. And also just blending it upwards slightly. Now just taking the deeper purple, I'm just going to be adding that below where I put that shade. To create a gradient and some depth to the eye. Now I'm just taking this really pale pink. I'm going to be using that to blend everything up into the brow bone. A little bit onto the back of my hand. So then I'm taking a flat concealer brush. I like to use the Zoeva Cream Shader, the number 233 brush, to cut my crease. So you just want to find a part of your eye and just start colouring it and then you look upwards and that'll show you where your natural crease is, so just here. Now cutting this crease, we're going to do a wing. Once you get to the outer portion of your eye, you start to go upwards and just follow it to the end of your eyebrow. Now with that, I'm just patting it down with the white shade that comes in the James palette. Now as you can see, I lost some definition just here. So I'm going to go back where we did cut the crease in with that dark purple shade we used to just deepen up and make it more of an obvious cut crease. I'm also going to take some of that shade and run it above the crease. 
So this is the shade Silver Hologram that I'm using from the Helena Cosmetics Glitters. So taking some of the fixing gel, put some on my finger and just pat that on. I am going to continue that up the flick as well. Going in with just a makeup wipe, I'm just cleaning up the area just under my eye and getting rid of any bits of glitter. And then with the outer portion, we will be cleaning that up into the point that we want. I'm just taking the Skinner 2 waterproof pencil eyeliner. Pencil generally goes better onto glitter, so that's what I'm gonna be doing first, and then I'll be going over the liquid eyeliner. I'm going in with the Quick Flicks liquid eyeliner. I'm not gonna be using their stamp side just because I want full control of this wing. So I'm just going to go and do this exact thing onto this eye off camera and I will come back and then we will finish the look. Okay, so I'm back and I've finished doing both eyes now. I'm just going to be moving on to the bottom lash line now and adding a touch of pink there. I'm starting with that darker pink shade. And then taking the hot pink. And then on the inner corner, I just took these two shades here. For all my lashes, I'm using the Skin02's newly released vegan lashes. I'm using the Style Medium 3D Lash. Um, this is just what they look like. They're super fluffy, they're so flattering on. And if you were interested in buying yourself a pair of these lashes, you can use my code ABBY10 for 10% off your order for any Skin02 products. I swear by their products. So that is what the eyes look like all done. I'm gonna go and finish my base and everything else off camera quickly and I'll be right back to show you the finished look for this video. I finished my makeup. I'm just adding a NYX, what is it called? A NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Just for some accessories, I have these earrings from Boohoo that I think will go well with this look. And just to continue on with the whole pink vibe, I have these glasses. I would probably just wear them or look like this. Yeah, that concludes this video. Um, I hope you guys like this video. It's something very different. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this sort of video, be sure to let me know so I can make more for you. Um, but yeah, so this is the hair from the back. As always, if you guys are ever going through anything and you need someone to talk to, please reach out to me. I am more than happy to chat and help in any way that I can. So yeah, have a wonderful week. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>